Hey guys, Anthony 4 before diesel. This is really important information. If you've got a 1KD, quick grab your beer, it's going to fall over. And it shakes up a beer like that and you're wondering what's wrong with it don't do this unless your engine's doing this that is a crack piston that is a crack piston unfortunately and it's going to be one of the same old stories. This actually is very rare. I'm having trouble breathing. <coughs> yes, the exhaust was coming out the wrong end of the engine out here. That's not what's meant to be happening. This is very rare. When I say very rare, it's, you know, super low percentages when you consider there's hundreds of thousands of these vehicles in Australia and millions of them on the road. But, you know, some people would say, oh, you know, not very common. It's really common. That's not really that common, but... It's more common than it should be, and that is how you diagnose it's got a crack piston, as simple as that. Now, don't you all rush out there and go to your engine and take the cap off to see what yours is doing. If it's running smooth like normal, you don't need to take the cap off. You don't need to worry about it, right? If it's running rough like that, and you suspect a crack piston, it's probably chuffing a bit of uh, at the other end as well. Let's have a look at the tailpipe. There's not a lot of smoke coming out this end. Apparently it was all coming out the other end. But I see a modified exhaust system. That isn't the standing exhaust. Give it a little rev just so we can... If you give it a little rev and this happens... Alright, just let it idle. If that happens, you got a crack piston. So, if your engine's shaking around like it's got a bit of a misfire, if you were driving along at 100 k's or more or less and you had a sudden loss of power and then you come to idle and it's idling rough like that and you see some chuffs out the exhaust like that or you may have seen a big plume of blue smoke out the back like that then all you need to do first is go to the oil cap take that off and if you see it going chuff 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 like that that certainly means you've got a crack piston and you know what that's a video now i'm going to direct you to check out our injector information playlists you can check our free engines playlists you can check our crack piston playlists. You can go through the subject headings of all those playlists and gather the information you need to learn how you can avoid this situation and what to do if it happens to you. The last thing we want is people out in the middle of nowhere without any RAC, whatever, total care, without their scan tools and without knowing enough about their vehicle that they can diagnose a problem like this. Next thing you know, you'll have a th thousands of dollars worth of towing you have your vehicle in at some uh, automotive repair something or other somewhere and they will want to strip the engine to see what's wrong with it okay you don't need to do that we've just demonstrated how to diagnose a cracked piston and that is it thanks for watching guys catch ya you better subscribe turn the bell and check out those videos and if you liked it if you learned something smash that like button see ya